Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to look today at something we call the Texture Tweaker. This is a tool that basically gives you the ability to go in and change or move around textures and how they're applied to a surface. So if I'm going to do something like I'm going to redecorate this room right here, make this, uh, this ugly wallpapered room into my new workshop, I'm going to start by painting the walls. So painting the walls, I just use the Paint Bucket tool and pick the color I want to paint with and I click. Real simple. Same thing goes if I want to use a texture as opposed to a single color. So if I pick on this plywood texture right here and I apply it to this tabletop, it goes right on there. That looks good, but it's not quite correct. I actually want the grains to kind of be going the other direction. I don't want to repeat so much. So I can edit that by selecting the surface, right clicking, going to texture, and clicking on position. Okay, this is going to present me with some things. Right now I have the texture one time right here in the middle with four pins in the four corners. It then repeats as many times as necessary to cover the material. So the surface that I'm uh, putting it on there. So right now what we have are fixed pins. If I grab this, I will stretch this material all over the place as I move it around. If I right click, I can click on that and I'll actually get these little icon pins. With these icon pins, I can actually grab them and use them to move. So if I click on this move pin, I can grab it and move it to where I want to. If I just want to put it on this corner and drag it to right there, it'll snap there. Right here, I have the scale and shear pin. So as I move this, you can see I can stretch and shear that material. I remember I'm always working in a 2D plane, so as I'm moving this around, this is actually how it's going to stretch onto this surface right here. Um, I don't want it right there, though. I want it back like this. Down here, I have the distort pin, so this is kind of fun. This is a cool way to get uh, kind of forced perspective into your textures. And then finally, I have the rotate pin. This will actually let me spin my material. This is probably the pin I use the most when I move materials around. This is great because it will snap to, to the different uh, increments around the compass and it always gives you the snap point back at the original scale. So if I, if I spin around here, that's great, but you can see it's shrinking the texture down. If I move back out to the snap point, it scales it to the same size. So I'm pretty close to what I want here. I do want this to be a little bit bigger though. I, want, I don't want to repeat the texture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm not going to rotate, but actually just use it to slide all the way out to the end snap point. When I'm done, if I just click outside of that texture, you can see it puts that new texture onto my tabletop. That looks great. Um, something else I want to put in here is I want to put some pegboards up here on the wall. So I went and downloaded this image of pegboard. So what I'm going to do right now is with paint, I'm just going to click and place it into one of these. That looks good, but obviously there's some issues there. That's a horrible looking pegboard. It's a picture of pegboard instead of actual pegboard. So I'm going to have to edit that texture. So again, I'll right click, click on texture and position. Something to note here, if a texture is applied to a surface, you'll get this texture field in the context menu, the right click menu. If you have a texture that is applied to a group or a component, this won't show up. You can right click on a group or component that looks like it's been painted with a texture, but if it's on the group, the whole container, as opposed to the individual surface, it won't show up. So something to think about as you're trying to use this uh, texture editing. And here I'm going to click on position again. And this time I'm going to do a little bit different because I'm going to right click and I'm going to get my pins back. And I'm going to click once, not click and hold, but just click once, and I'm going to put that right on the corner of the image of the pegboard. I'm going to do the same thing here. Just click once and move. Click again. Click once. Move that right there. And then one more time here. So I'm putting it on the corners of the image. Once those are placed, I'm going to grab these, click and drag to stretch this material up to the surface I'm painting. So I'm going to drag this one up here right there, drag this one right here, and then finally pull this last one right here. When I'm all done, it looks like I have a piece of pegboard. Now if I want to paint this over onto these other boards, I don't want to use this existing texture, I want to actually use a new one. 
So what I can do is I can right click on the surface and I can say make unique texture. When I do that, a new texture shows up in my material list or my, my texture list over here. I can take that then and paste that. Oops. <laughs> paste that onto these boards. Looks like that didn't line up quite right, but again, I know how to do this, fortunately. I can come in, use position, and I can actually just slide that over so it looks perfect. And paint that back on their boards. So that's a quick look at the texture tweaker and using it to move textures on surfaces. Thank you.